No good conversation ever starts with the words, hey bro, check out this sweet fungus. But fungi, the group of living things that includes mushrooms, molds, yeast, and lichens, are actually amazing. And frankly, we couldn't live without them. So just because, here's five awesome examples of fungi species that illustrate the importance of fungi to our lives and to the planet as a whole. Our first example of an amazing fungi is one that can cure disease, Penicillium rubens. And if you think that sounds a lot like the first antibiotic penicillin, you'd be right. Our friend Penicillium is a fungi, well, technically it's a mold, that was discovered by accident and has since saved millions of lives. Antibiotics are super important. After they were discovered, average life expectancy jumped by eight years. A couple of things we owe to this wonderful mold include not dying from something as simple as a paper cut or a sore throat. Our next amazing fungi is one to which we owe some of my favorite foods, and it's the baker's yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Without S. cerevisiae, there's no bread. Well, there's some bread, but no pizza. Yeast is a fungus that makes dough rise and tastes so delicious. Basically, these little yeast cells eat all the little sugars in the dough and fart out a gas that makes the dough so light, fluffy, and delicious. This yeast is also really popular for scientists to study. We've made huge discoveries about our own biology by just studying it. Without it, our understanding of things like how cells work and how they divide would be much worse. Next, let's talk about lichens. And while they're easily overlooked, lichens are one of the best examples of cooperation on our planet. You'd probably recognize lichens because they grow on rocks. What you might not know is that the flaky stuff on rocks is actually a centuries-old friendship between a lichen and a tiny plant called an algae or a cyanobacteria. Basically, the lichen provides structure and support while the tiny plant turns sunlight into food through a process called photosynthesis. It's basically nature's equivalent of going over to a friend's house to cook dinner. Our most terrifyingly awesome example of a fungi is called Ophiocordyps unilateralis, but most people call it by its common name, zombie ant fungus. It's called zombie ant fungus because this fungus, found in some tropical rainforests, infects ants and then takes control of their bodies. It does so in order to compel the ant to leave its nest and proceed to a leaf exactly 25 centimeters from the ground, an area with the perfect temperature and humidity for this fungus to thrive. If that's not terrifyingly cool, I don't know what is. Our final example of an amazing fungi is called Physarum polycephalum, or just the blob. And while it's not strictly a fungi, it's so cool that I had to share it. Physarum is famous because it's a single-celled organism that can do things that we typically associate with higher intelligence. Most notably, Physarum can find the shortest solution to a maze in search of its favorite food, an oat flake. It solves the maze by investigating every possible solution and then retracting its body along the shortest path to the food. It's a really cool example of how living things can solve problems without having a brain. Physarum has even recreated the Tokyo subway system, the American interstate system, or my favorite, the Trans-Canada Highway. Everywhere you go, there's a fungus. We didn't even mention Acerorubra, the anemone stinkhorn, which attracts flies to spread its spores by smelling like rotten meat. Definitely the grossest fungi I can think of. Or Lactarius indigo, the indigo milk cap which is a little blue mushroom that bleeds blue milky stuff that turns green when you scratch its skin. There's still so much about fungi we don't know. It's incredible to think about what else might be out there. In fact, if you've always wanted to name a new species of something, your best bet is to become a mycologist or someone that studies fungi. If I discovered a new fungi, it would be called Mr. Heresicus Maximus. Thanks for coming along for the ride. If you thought something was interesting in today's video, let me know in the comments below or hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for all the updates. Until next time, stay curious. And please stay away from zombie fungus.